who the heck are these people? Well, they are about to embark on something quite incredible, and I want to tell you all about it. I've reached out to the Framonauts, that's right, the Framonauts, for an interview. But just on Monday, SpaceX announced that these four will conduct the first human spaceflight to fly over Earth's polar regions. And they have one of the coolest websites I've ever seen with this Star Wars theme for the opening. According to the website, they're going to try to launch later this year in 2024. But this isn't a normal mission. SpaceX has quite a bit of experience launching humans into space at this point. In the past four years, they've had 13 human spaceflight missions safely flying 50 crew members to and from Earth's orbit. But this is not an ordinary Dragon mission. Later this year, Falcon 9 will launch launch Dragon's sixth commercial astronaut mission. It's called Fram 2, and it'll be the first human spaceflight mission to explore Earth from a polar orbit, and they'll fly over Earth's polar regions for the first time. So why are they called that? It's named in honor of the ship that helped explorers first reach Earth's Arctic and Antarctic regions, Fram 2, will be commanded by Chun Wang, an entrepreneur and adventurer from Malta. And this will be a three to five day mission. The crew plans to observe Earth's polar regions through Dragon's cupola at an altitude of 425 to 450 kilometers. They'll be leveraging insight from space physicists and citizen scientists to study unusual light emissions resembling auroras. The crew will study green fragments and mauve ribbons of continuous emissions comparable to the phenomenon known as Steve, or strong thermal emission velocity enhancement. This has been measured at an altitude of approximately 400 to 500 kilometers above Earth's atmosphere. The crew will also work with SpaceX to conduct a variety of research to better understand the effects of spaceflight on the human body, which includes capturing the first human X-ray images in space, just-in-time training tools, and studying the effects of spaceflight on behavioral health, all of which will help in the development of tools needed to prepare humanity for future long-duration spaceflight. So if they're able to pull off this launch no earlier than late 2024, that will be pretty incredible, especially since we've had many delays already with Polaris Dawn and, of course, considering what is going to happen with the Starliner astronauts. And here's some additional notes from Everyday Astronaut who got to speak with the crew. He asked them about safety considerations of flying over the poles and they said it's not considered to be much more dangerous than a standard LEO mission in regards to radiation. The crew found out in December of last year, 2023, when Chun individually asked them to take part in the mission with him. And for each crew member, this will be their first space flight, but they've all worked together and befriended each other previously on a North Pole mission. So who is Chun Wang? Well, he's the mission commander. His journey into blockchain began in 2011. He co-founded F2 Pool and Stakefish, which are among the largest Bitcoin mining pools and Ethereum staking providers. And I've never heard of either of those. I've heard of Bitcoin, of course, and Ethereum, but I've never heard of those two uh, organizations. So man, he must be doing pretty well to be able to afford this. Janike Mickelson, I'm sure I butchered her first name. She's the vehicle commander. She's a film director and cinematographer living on Svalbard, specializing in fringe technology, creating next generation technology for movies shot in remote and hazardous environments like the Arctic, ocean, aviation, and space. Eric Phillips is the vehicle pilot. He's a professional polar adventurer and guide, having completed numerous ski expeditions to the North and South Poles. He's also co-founder of the International Polar Guides Association, and he spent much of his adult life in the polar regions. So, Sounds like he'll be right at home. And Robea Rogi, Roge, again, I need some help on this, is the mission specialist. She is a robotics researcher from Berlin, currently pursuing her PhD in Norway. And she's always been fascinated by extreme environments, studying them to understand our limits of the world and to push beyond them. Her work includes leading a satellite mission and researching ocean robotics in the Arctic. And... I I don't want to understand the limits of our outside world. I typically want to go inside. 
when I feel like we're in the limits of either really cold or really hot. So good for her. And let me just read a post that Chun made now that this has all been announced on his ex account. He wrote, please allow me to quote Steve Jobs' original iPhone announcement in 2007. Quote, this is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. So Chun admits that yes, he's been looking forward to this mission for two and a half years now. From the mission proposal, planning, trajectory design, to crew selection, everything has been done by the customer, Chun, and now here we are. Until 2021, space missions were solely the privilege of governments. Private individuals were unable to charter a space shuttle like they would do for an airplane. Inspiration 4 came along and changed everything. It was a space tourist mission, but unlike any space tourist before it, for the first time in spaceflight history, a private individual could rent an entire spacecraft, plan, design, and execute their own very personal mission with clear objectives. It should never be underrated. Later, we saw the emergence of the Polaris program, which is essentially a new Gemini for our time. That's his words, not mine. But this time, entirely driven by an individual rather than a government. With Fram 2, we aim to open this door even wider. This is the true allure of commercial spaceflight. I've read many sci-fi stories about the first human missions to Mars, usually led by NASA or some fictional government. Rarely does anyone dare to imagine such a mission may be carried out privately, but now I increasingly believe that someday we will reach Mars, and it may be a person or a company, not a nation, who gets there. <coughs> SpaceX, <coughs> Elon Musk, uh. A new chapter in space exploration is unfolding before our eyes. Stay tuned. So, yeah, that's the announcement. I am trying to get a hold of any of the four of them to talk about this. I have reached out to their media team. I've sent them DMs. And I'm sure they'll get back to me in due time. I'm sure they're actually probably pretty flooded with requests right now since this announcement just came out. But I, I just think this is so exciting. And it just goes to show how much stuff, you know, SpaceX <laughs> is working on behind the scenes. This is, you know, the, they announced it just recently, but this has been going on for a while. And so it'll be really cool if we get to learn more about this and then find out when they're going to be launching uh, 2024, still a very busy year for spaceflight, and it's only going to continue to get busier. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. You learned something. I really love their website. I can't get over how cool the uh, animation is of their trajectory. So thanks so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a like and subscribe to Ellie in Space so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll see you soon. If you guys enjoyed this video and all of my Starship coverage, please subscribe to Ellie in Space. It's completely free and that way you won't miss any future videos. If you want to take it a step further, please consider signing up for my Patreon. YouTube revenue can be very unpredictable and hit or miss. And you guys on my Patreon are why I'm able to take these trips and help me experience the life that I'm very thankful to live down here at Starbase and many of the other places that I've gone to report for the channel and the places that I'll be going in the future.